Whiskey Niner Delta Air Traffic Control come in over. You got an emergency. <sighs> Whoa, doggy. <laughs> Think you're gonna be able to land this plane, buddy? Yeah. So this is actually based off a true story of a pilot who did um, die at the cockpit, and uh, the gentleman on the airplane was a father who was flying his family um, in the a plane that looked pretty much exactly like this. It was a King Air, and uh, and he was asked to take over the plane and land it. Um, safely and so pretty hard because he actually had some flying experience he only flew single single engine Cessnas um, but man I think if we just put this thing on the ground to a complete stop we're gonna be doing pretty good today um, so you got the track IR so as you move your head as you can tell your your camera moves and keep the plane steady I'm gonna take a look outside right now uh, let's see here I'm gonna scroll into it so this here is a King Air 350. Look at us. Well, really you. Look at that flying. All right. Well, sir, you have to listen to my instructions. You're doing great. You're headed straight towards the runway, runway six here at uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Southwest Fort Myers. Go ahead and put your landing gear down, sir. Okay. Did it? Roger that. So, is this autopilot flying, or is this you, sir? It's me. You know what old Doug White said? What? Whenever he was asked that question by air traffic control, said, sir, is autopilot on? He said, now it's just me and the good lord flying this thing. So, uh, you know, it's just you and the good lord, sir. And, and me. But he actually had some pretty good help on air traffic control, and they had an expert come in, and and that sort of thing so um, well as you can tell I don't have much flying experience uh, I can't really give you a whole lot of directions here other than just uh, yeah you see that runway up there that's where we're gonna try and land <laughs> look around the cockpit look behind you for a second turn your head a little bit these would be a nice plane to fly in um, <sighs> yeah you're doing great sir uh, you're doing great uh, you can Give it a little more throttle if you need to. It'll help you pick up your speed. Just a tiny bit more throttle, and you pull back on the yoke. <laughs> doing great. You're doing great. Keep pulling back. Keep pulling back, sir. Fla While you're pulling back, do flaps down one. All right. And you're going to see that runway coming up here. Yep. Yep. Go ahead and pull back on the throttle, uh, just a tap, and set her on down gently, sir, as gently as you can. Okay. Do great, man. Keep it up, sir. You're gonna have to go down quite a bit more so we don't overfly the, the runway, and you'll pick it back up. Whoa, doggy! <laughs> go, go down gently. Yeah. And then pick her back up. I did tap. that. All right, and tap the right brake. Pull back on throttle all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to a complete stop here. On runway 6, Fort Myers. I can't believe that plane landed. That's one reason why they say keep your feet keep your seat belts on until it's come to a complete stop at the gate, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, amazing job. How do you feel? Very good. You feel like your life was just spared right now by your amazing flying skills? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. I got to tell you, I was puckered up there a little bit, man, uh, <laughs> watching you. I just didn't even know what to say. Wasn't much I could do to help you, but you, you put that plane down to a complete stop. A uh, little, little bouncy bouncy, uh, I will say, but you. You, uh, you recovered nicely, sir. So, the other thing is, is when this dude landed, you know, 
he, first of all, what he did was absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, obviously very sad that the, the pilot passed away while he was flying and, and, um, and all that. But like what he did was absolutely amazing. But when he landed this thing, he didn't know how to, uh, turn the engine off. You know, there's, there's two, you know, turbo props on these things. And, uh, you know, they can chew you up if you get outside near it. And, uh, so he had to have someone, like, I guess sneak in through the back or something. I don't know. And help. But there was all kinds of crew when he landed. There's a whole documentary about this. In fact, they did a movie about this with, uh, Dennis Quaid. And, uh, I thought it was, that was pretty cool. Um, hey. Nice work, man. GG's. Mm -hmm. GG's. <laughs> <laughs>